How much would you pay to go out on a date with someone? What? Fifty bucks? A hundred bucks? Why are you paying? What do I get out of it? How about two hundred dollars for two hours with Mr. Right Here, Right Now? Whoa. That's just that's a, pretty steep. <laughs> that's just like an escort service, right? Is that what you're talking about? Obviously, I'm not interested in your services. <laughs> One of our listeners, though, Brett, wow, that hurt. emailed us saying he paid for his date and he was extremely satisfied with the result. What? He's what? on the phone right now. Brett, did you tip 15%, 20%? <laughs> what's, what's customary for a, a pay-for date? It's still service, right? I mean, Alexis, uh, you, you take what? money for dates. What would you accept as a tip? Don't wow. answer that. Really? I mean... <laughs> She's thinking. Oh, my God. Back to, back to the guy on the phone. Back to the guy on the phone. Oh, okay. That's all right. We can talk to Brett. Brett, how's it going, man? Hey, how are you guys doing? Wait, Good. Brett, it's making it sound like you hired an escort service for a date. There's is nothing that, wrong with that, is that bro. What, is that what happened? Well, that's illegal. We no, can't... it was like a website I went to, and there was ladies on it, and I picked that's... one. You get yeah, to pick? Yeah. Okay, so I'll tell you why she's not calling you back, because you didn't pay for another date. Yeah, that's true. Transaction's <laughs> this, this over. This isn't uh, <laughs> a She's not going to fall in love with you. Yeah, no, I think you guys are, are misunderstanding. It's not like that. It's like one of those dating sites where you have to pay monthly. Oh, oh, this is you're just oh. you're just wow. paying a subscription to a dating yeah. site. It's called a membership. Yeah. Oh my yeah, yeah. God. Say that that is a lot different. <laughs> you didn't say that. Could have led with that one. This just got a whole lot less interesting, but yeah. I guess we'll keep going. <laughs> Brett, so tell us about the girl that you met on this dating site. What's her name? Her name's Paige. Okay. And uh she was like so hot. It made me never want to go back to the free dating sites ever again. Okay. Oh, so th this was your first match. Yeah, was first match. And I talked to her online. We had a nice conversation. I asked her about like what kind of food she likes to eat. And uh, we had the same taste of food, which is basically like Mexican okay. food. So that's good. You have food in common. Well, that's I great. mean, you're feeling like you're getting your <laughs> money's worth for this subscription if it's already matching up this quickly. Um, I, know. I don't know. I feel like I could walk on the street and meet someone that likes Mexican food. <laughs> Harder than you think. <laughs> but Alexis. not a hot person. That's true. You know? <laughs> All right. So you have Mexican in common. What'd you guys do for your date? So we go to a restaurant, um, Mexican restaurant. Oh, and, right. um, Saw oh, that coming. Wow. <laughs> you are smooth. Yeah. What a transition. <laughs> Surprise. It wasn't like a casual one. It was one of those fancy Mexican restaurants, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Where, like, like you're yeah. paying $20 for a taco and you're like, I don't know why. <laughs> but they assemble the table size. Yeah. <laughs> they grated the cotija cheese right yeah. directly onto it. <laughs> That's classy, dude. Those are cool, though. How did that go? Well, I guess it went kind of weird. Um, Weird. So when she showed up, she was just looked so amazing. She was so beautiful. And so, I don't know, maybe I was kind of nervous talking mm. to her. That makes sense. Well, yeah. Why do you say that? Well, so, like, it seemed okay when we first started talking. She seemed a little quiet. Mm -hmm. But then as the night went on, her, her mood started changing. Mm -hmm. And it almost seemed like she got upset or something was bothering oh. her. or mm -hmm. She just seemed, like, sad. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. Oh. Was there anything specific you guys were talking about that would fall into the sad realm? <laughs> like, Talk about all our dead relatives. Yeah, or yeah. like a childhood pet you had to put down or something. Where'd you what go? What kind of dates do you go on? I'm just saying. I'm just asking. It's a good question. Yeah. It's a good question. Was the conversation leading her down that sadness path? No, we just started talking about normal stuff like travel mm -hmm. and like animals. Mm -hmm. And then she just kept getting more and more quiet. Mm. I mean, maybe there's something going on in her life that you don't know about, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I assume. Yeah. At one point, I even asked her if everything was okay, huh. and she didn't really say anything. Oh, that's not a good sign. Uh, that means it's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. How did you wrap it up? So I ordered dessert. And she leaves before the dessert comes, so I just sit there by myself and I eat both desserts. Whoa. Whoa. She walked out in the middle of it? That's kind of cool, though. Two flans. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That sucks. That... Yeah, so like she basically she just said, I'm not into this anymore. Wow. And oh. she goes to get up. And I'm like, I can't, I can't leave. I just ordered dessert. But she <laughs> leaves anyway. Oh, Whoa. No. Wow. Oh, my God. Did you ask the dating website for a refund on your $20 a month? <laughs> I should. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, looking back that's on the crazy. whole night, that's so weird. What do you think could have possibly gone wrong? 
I don't know. Do I? I mean, I think I look like my pictures. <laughs> Did my so? breath stink? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I put my foot in my mouth, but I don't know it. Like literally? I just love that this is men's overanalyzing of a date. Yeah. Because if it was me that this happened to, mm-hmm. I would have 86 reasons like why they weren't calling him back. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know. I think my I tied my, my tie a little bit yeah, weird. Yeah, I did the same. I'm going to put deodorant on my left pit. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that I don't it. know. It's not like she was in a bad mood the whole way through, but yeah. things got worse and worse as the date went on. Yeah, that so, is weird. Are you mad? Like, do you want an explanation or do you want to go out with her again? Well, yeah, she's hot, so duh, yeah, I want to go out with her. <laughs> yeah, Brooke, okay. stupid question. Sorry. Forgot treating people with kindness and respect wasn't on the table. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. You can't get both. Yeah. But you're hoping to figure out what it was that set her off, basically, and made her leave. I don't know. I, I want you guys to figure it out if you can. Oh, yeah. That's why you emailed us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're on the phone. Right. Yeah, maybe we should do our jobs. Right. Okay, let's do that. We're going to play a song. We'll come back. We'll call Paige for you and try and get your second date. All right, thank you. All right, hold on. Just tuning in for the second date, one of our listeners, Brett, is on the phone, and I think we've all had at least one date like Brett went on recently, Mm. where you're sitting down at the table, and you haven't done anything or said anything wrong, but for some reason, you just sense that it's going bad. Yeah. It's awkward. It's yeah. off. Mm-hmm. Brett's date ended up yeah. leaving the restaurant before dessert even came. I mean, oh my goodness. that is so rude. Like, I would only do that if someone was incredibly disrespectful yeah. or, you know, like, I just can't imagine. Yeah. You finish the meal and you leave a yeah. meal. Yeah. That's it. Well, that's why he wants our help. Now, Brett, we've been talking for a few minutes now, kind of like we're on a date. How do you feel (laughs) like this is going? Do you hear us getting quieter? Does Brooke, Alexis, or Jose Mm. sound sad talking to you? I think I'm going to leave right now. I I saw the urge in Alexis's (laughs) eyes to get up and go. Well, I don't know. I don't know how hot you guys are. Oh, Oh. wow. Wow, Brett. So that's all that matters to you. That's a good point. I forgot to point out that Brett's date was extremely hot. So he's desperate to find some answers. I'd say three quarters of the room is hot. You guess who the ugly one is. You do that on your own. I was going to give it only to Alexis. Oh, no, no. You guys are all sexy. And that's only by comparison because she's young. (laughs) You know? Uh... All right, Brett. We're going to stop focusing on how hot we all are. Okay. I like that part. Although it's really fun to do. Instead, let's just do your second date. I'm going to dial Paige's number right now. You ready? Okay, if you guys can help me out here, that would be great. Because she, again, she's very hot. Okay, we got All that. Right. Yeah. Reminder. Thank you got for the it, reminder. Bro. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Paige. This is she. Uh, who's this? Hi, Paige. My name is Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. How you doing? Um, I'm okay. What is this about? <laughs> this is about a second date. Have you ever heard of that? Um, I don't know. Maybe. It's a segment that we do on the radio from time to time. It's where if you go out okay. with... Every what? day, but okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> That's time to time. Yeah. Over and over. A day is a time, Brooke. Why are you trying to undermine me? Here we go. She's trying to make sure she understands. Okay. <laughs> this is new to us. <laughs> All right, but Paige, the reason that we're calling you is because you went out with somebody recently And they've been trying to get a hold of you, but have had a hard time getting in touch. And they're hoping to figure out why. Okay. (laughs) You had a pretty dramatic exit on the date, so I'm guessing you're going to remember. I don't know. According to this person, you're very hot. So I assume that you have a lot of dates. Can you confirm that you are hot, please? What? (laughs) (laughs) Wait, what is going on? What do I need to do? (laughs) Okay, I'm just going to tell you. We got an email about you from a guy named Brett. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. That was actually last week. Okay. Yeah. And so Brett told us about the date from his perspective. How do you feel like it went? Not great. Hmm. It seems like more than not great. Yeah. yeah. That's what we heard. Like, did he do something rude or did he say something to offend you? I don't know. I was just, I was disappointed, I guess. The reason why we ask is because Brett told us it seemed like you got quieter and quieter as the night went on. To the point where you guys were barely talking. Oh. So he's just been talking about me? Well, he was well, giving us his side of the date. Yeah, sure. Remember, we're trying to figure out, like, what went wrong? Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, it's just weird that he's just, like, 
talking or like spreading whatever his perspective of me is. Um, <laughs> like I barely know him. But the whole point is that he had a really nice time up to the point when you decided to leave. <laughs> That's good. Um, I don't know. I'm just not very happy with him still, I guess. Okay. <laughs> what did he do? I mean, the, yeah. the problem is, is if you're unhappy, he honestly has no idea what he did wrong. So he can't oh, like correct a behavior or apologize for something that he doesn't know about. I don't know. I don't really believe that he doesn't know what was wrong, at least what? at this point. like. So he... you feel like it was something pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah. He's an idiot then because he has no idea. I yeah. actually believe him on that part. Yeah, most of us dudes are idiots, so. <laughs> and he'd really appreciate if you could tell us what the problem was so that we could pass it along okay. to him and that way he can be less of an idiot on future dates. <laughs> I mean, okay, well, like, honestly, I do get asked out, like, a lot. So sometimes I have to, like, weed through guys and I take a chance on someone and, like, you know, hopefully something will work out. Yeah. And I ended up, like, not doing plans with some friends that I had because it was my 25th birthday weekend actually like that weekend oh, and nice. I, like, happy, happy yeah happy birthday thank you and i skipped out on some plans with my friends so i could go on a date because i thought a birthday date hell yeah like that'll be great <laughs> but oh. he didn't know it was my birthday weekend like i don't understand how he did not look at my profile and see that these are the dates like he asked me out like he should have been aware well, did you actually tell Wait. him that it was your birthday weekend or it's that just on the website no i just assumed he would put two and two together like i figured <laughs> oh, he okay. wanted to ask me out this weekend so he could like impress me wait oh, hold right. on you skipped birthday celebrations with your friends to go out with well, the guy like you'd night. never met yeah. and then you were mad at him for not well because he was gonna, she slack? thought he'd spoil her for her birthday and then he didn't yeah. he took her out to a nice dinner mm -hmm. what did you want I'd be let i down mean too. it's a first date i mean he should have at least brought flowers or something <laughs> and maybe like a little <laughs> gift or something just i don't know like <laughs> You're, you're speaking my language. Oh, okay. Are you being serious, Alexis? <laughs> like, you honestly expect a guy you've never met to buy you they things? I would be oh, creeped they out. They should have looked at you on other social media, oh, figured I, out it was your birthday. What? In a heartbeat, no. If I knew it was her birthday in a heartbeat, Do I'd bring research. flowers and everything. But if you didn't no, but know, you, didn't you know. didn't tell him. You never yeah. talked to him about it. I didn't have to. If he had a brain, he could have seen it on my profile. Like, Whoa, yeah, okay. he, didn't, he didn't look past the pictures on the web, the uh, dating site. What? It could have been his birthday. Yeah. Did you know that? Did you look at his profile? Do you know where his birthday is? Let me ask you something, Paige. How do you know that Brett wasn't waiting until after dessert to give you your birthday flowers <laughs> and your 17 birthday gifts? <laughs> oh, maybe he had a uh, mariachi band in the wings uh, just waiting to come out and sing. That he was going to bring you in with a stretch limo. <laughs> What, did he tell you he was going to do that? He didn't tell me that, but I'm I'm willing to ask him if he was going to do that because I need to tell you, Paige, Brett's on the other line listening and wants to wish you a very happy birthday. Guys, this is all a surprise. Are you there, Brett? Happy birthday. Oh, my God. <laughs> surprise. We did it, guys. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I knew. I knew it was your birthday. Oh, what? come on! You are not even. <laughs> they were gonna bring out the flan with flan. candles in it, but you left before the flan could come out. Oh. And, uh, you know, you really? ruined it. You ruined, you ruined your own birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really expect me to believe that? Seriously? Come on! Like I'm not that stupid. I know I don't. I want to get to know you. What? I want to know exactly how stupid you are. It's so awkward. <laughs> Paige, come on. Go easy on this dude. I mean, I thought I did go easy on him. I mean, I waited through dinner. Like, I kind of wanted to bail earlier, but oh. I didn't. <laughs> so polite. Like, you're just going to have, like, this long history of just hard relationships because you don't tell people what your expectations are. Yeah, yeah and you assume guys just, like, know things. We don't know anything, don't Paige. Know anything. Well, get don't expect anything it. from us. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, Brett, if you would have known it was her birthday, let's replay the date. What would you have done differently? Ooh, that's a good one. What would I have done differently? <laughs> all sorts of things, presents and uh, gifts. Of all different kinds. Money. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Maybe a clown. Uh -huh. You want me to put you on hold so you can think about it and then we'll bring you back? Gold. 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 Oh. Gold bars. <laughs> not, not even what jewelry, <laughs> just pure gold. I smelted this. For I mean, you. what do you think, Paige? <laughs> Has a man an ever given you gold before? Maybe. Oh. oh. I bet okay. she's gotten diamonds okay. too. Okay.
shut oh, the bar what? high. I mean, I mean, Brett, are you still interested? She's, I mean, Paige, no offense, but you're a little high maintenance. Call me maintenance yeah. man. I, let's go out again. Hey, <laughs> all right. Maintenance man. You know what? I mean. I'm starting to sense a little bit of chemistry here now. So maybe this is the right time to ask Paige. Aww. Would you like to go out with Brett one more time and will pay for it? You can replay your birthday and do it the right way. Ooh. That's a good idea. I will yeah. say it's like double birthday. That this guy is fun. definitely showing up with a gift this time. Mm-hmm. What do you say, Paige? But why? Like, <laughs> <laughs> why? It's because it's what you want. Yeah, he's attractive. He, he, he's nice. He finally knows what you want, and then he wants to give that to you. That's how relationships work. Like yeah. Communication. Like After the birthday say, cake, Brett's going to show you why. <laughs> I just have a few more guys that have asked me out, and I'm kind of just going in a different direction, I think. Put him back in line, then. Put him back in the back of the line and oh, see him in two months. Come on. Oh. I'll give you the cash equivalent of the date they pay for what? <laughs> just cash. Now you're what? just paid for her. You've already paid for the for the dating <laughs> subscription, dude. Don't keep paying. Yeah, you guys have to see her. She has a right to act this way if I'm going to be. Oh, my God. Mm. I did forget uh, that. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was like my bad, time. Brett. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, you're it's right, going to end badly. Brett, I'm so sorry, dude. Dude, every date from now on, just act like one of the three <laughs> wise men and bring as many gifts as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Always have a birthday yeah. cake in the trunk. Yeah, just in case. Just in case. <laughs>